Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified in physical medicine and rehabilitation. He teaches about the use of prolotherapy, PRP, and stem cells. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Dr. Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. How are you doing today? I'm great. And yourself? I'm always living it up. I hope you are, too. I hope Absolutely. everybody is. Absolutely. Yes, I learned it from you, actually. It's a choice. Uh, and I brought jokes today, so later on, if you um, need a laugh, <laughs> we got one for you. But in the meantime, I want to let you know what the program is all about. We talk about orthopedic pain here, which is musculoskeletal pain. It means pain in your joints, tendons, ligaments, discs, back pain, neck pain. Perhaps you have knee pain, hip pain, arthritis pain. Perhaps you have carpal tunnel or think you do, tendonitis, stiff joints, basically dull aches. If you think it has anything to do with orthopedics, give us a call right here in the studio at 866-870-5752. You can speak directly to Dr. Darrow. When you phone the program today, you get the latest book for free, Dr. Darrow's latest, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, Don't Operate, with 264 scientific studies. We're here Saturdays at 10, again at 1 p.m., and check out the website at www.lastemcells.com. That's www.lastemcells.com. You can email Dr. Darrow off of every page on the site and watch him performing the treatments on videos. What do you think? I think it's great, and... um... I don't know what the options are unless you want to have surgery. I mean, who wants surgery anymore? Well, it's That's very invasive. Yeah. So I have a question here on knees. May I take it? Have you done enough? Let's do it. Okay. Knees. And I am, yeah, and I'm looking for your call so I can talk to you and help you with your musculoskeletal pain. And the phone number to the studio is 866 870 Five seven five two. I would love to talk to you, and you can ask me questions about, um, you know, your neck, your back, your knees, your shoulders, your hips, your toes, your fingers, wrist, elbows, whatever hurts. I've injected, um, believe it or not, I've self-injected most of those areas on myself, and um, over the years I've been doing this work for since the late 90s. And uh, because of sports injuries, I do a lot of sports, I do injure myself, and um, then I inject myself. So far, it's worked everywhere on my body. So I'm very grateful to have learned about this. And uh, not only do I get to help my patients, but I get to help myself. All right, so this one comes in on knees. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Knees have had PRP in the past, hurting again. Now living in West L.A., used to hear Dr. Darrow on the radio, thought thought he might be able to help me. Um, Yeah, the fact that the PRP worked before and that uh, you've worn your knees out again, I think uh, we'd be a good uh, team together in getting your knees fixed up. And then I wrote him, I emailed him back about this, and he wrote me the following. I have slight pain going up and down stairs. Difficult to hike on rocky or other not stable surfaces. Um, Well, this goes on and on. But what I wanted to say about this is people ask me every day when they come in, um, new patients, is this going to last forever? Well, your body is not going to last forever no matter what. So things (laughs) do break down and you can re-injure yourself. The tissue that is grown through regenerative medicine of platelets and stem cells um, can wear out again by overuse. This guy appears to be an overuser like me. So I've had, um, you know, intermittent shoulder issues. My right shoulder was injured. That was the first thing that uh, had a bad injury many, many, many years ago. 
And um, I've had three injuries in my shoulder. The first one was uh, while I was in medical school. And then about 12 years, it was good for 12 years. And then the next time I heard it playing tennis, I like to serve really hard. And um, then that healed up again. The first time took one treatment. The second time took two treatments. And I can't remember the last time I hurt my shoulder as a maybe like two or three years ago. And that took a few treatments. Now, is that because the first treatment didn't work? No, the first treatment worked great. It's just that I use my shoulder uh, very explosively in a lot of sports. So um, there is no knowing how long a treatment will last you for, and it often takes more than one treatment to get you better. It's not something like a steroid shot or cortisone where you know it's not going to last. Many people that have had these treatments done, um, the, the pain never comes back again. I don't know what never means, but so far it hasn't come back again. But uh, there is no guarantees in medicine with anything, certainly not with surgery. Half my patients that come in, the new patients that come in, have already had a surgery that failed. And we'll probably get into some questions about failed surgeries because it's very important that you understand that although surgery is very seductive, meaning that you think it's just going to fix it and then you're done, that's not what happens to most people. Um, it didn't happen to me. I had a surgery done on my right shoulder, which really started this thing off uh, back in medical school uh, 150 years ago, right, Nita? And uh, <laughs> that's my joke for the day. <laughs> and um, You don't even look old enough. You, see, you still look 16. I am 16. Um, and... Um, that shoulder really jacked, or that, that surgery really jacked my shoulder. I didn't blame my surgeon, who was my boss at the time. We were doing orthopedic surgery in Hawaii at the time, and um, I was his student. And it just came out bad. And I know a lot of you folks who are listening to the radio right now have had a surgery that didn't work out. As I've mentioned on most shows, there are diagnostic codes with insurance company failed back surgery, failed shoulder surgery, meaning there are so many that fail, they have to have a diagnostic code for it. And that's not a good thing. So obviously we want to, in medicine, be conservative. And regenerative medicine using platelets and stem cells is very conservative. And certainly surgery is very invasive on the other end of it. So with these injections, you just come into the office, you walk in, you get injected, and you walk out. Even if it's your ankle or knee or your hip, you still walk out. You can drive home. You don't need somebody to, to take you to the office. So um, how did you know I had a joke, Nita? You ready for it? I'm, I'm ready. i stump you. I'm ready. You ready. Go ahead. Stump me. You're on, stump. You're on your toes? On my toes. Okay. What did the drummer call his twin daughters? Anna one, Anna two. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I have one for you. Okay. What do you call a pencil with erasers at both ends? Ooh, I know this one. What? I'll give you a hint. It's what we say that if an elective surgery is not needed and you have the surgery, surgery anyway, we say that was pointless. Ah, uh, cute. <laughs> All right, so let's go to another question. And again, I'm asking for your phone calls if you want to speak to me. Live right here, 866-870-5752. Unfortunately, a lot of people are shy until the first caller, and then we get uh, really stocked up with callers at the end of the show. We can't get to you. So the best time to talk to me is right now. I'll repeat the number for you. It's 866-870-5752. 866-870-5752. Also, if you are too shy to call, which I hope you're not, you can always get a hold of us at my office. And that phone number is 800-300-9300. That's hard to forget. 800-300-9300. So I would love to talk to you. So let me go to another question here. Let's see what we got going. Well, you did knees. How about another body part, like maybe the back? Back pain's very common, right? 
Uh, back pain is very common. It's the most common thing, actually. Um, the most doctor visits in our country are for low back pain, believe it or not. Okay, I have low back pain see. today. <laughs> Come on in. Here's one. This one says failed shoulder. Let's see what the person says. Oh, good. A shoulder. Yeah. Uh, age 62, occupation, retired union carpenter, 35 years. Well, that guy ought to have some shoulder pain <laughs> of 30 years of pounding um, activities. Oh, competitive baseball and softball, 35 years. Water skiing and high school sports that included varsity football and basketball. My right shoulder has been surgically repaired in 2004. Full thickness tear of the supraspinatus tendon physical therapy for six months and last three years pain in the right shoulder has steadily progressed to the point hard for me to sleep unable to use right arm sometimes for days the pain is constant oh that's sad cannot even hike anymore as the pain develops quickly pain is at the acromium the acromium is the top part of the shoulder the bone if you put your hand over on your shoulder and poke on it hard that's the acromium the ac joint that's the acromioclavicular joint down outside to the tricep. That's the uh, muscle on the back of the arm. Range of motion is good, but not without pain and clicking and grinding and doing so. We call that crepitus. That's the medical term for that. My left shoulder had has a partial thickness tear of the supraspinatus that occurred in 2000 while diving for a football in the outfield, or for not a football, for a ball in the outfield. That's baseball. Eight weeks of physical therapy, I declined surgery. Now the shoulder has pain if actively used for extended periods with radiation down to the bicep. That's common. When we have shoulder issues, it often will radiate down the arm. I know that injuries and repetitive motion are the major region, reasons for the pain along with age. I will call you soon. Um, so, you know, the first shoulder, the right shoulder, was repaired in 2004. And um, that's a failed surgery because the person has more pain now than they had before the surgery. And um, this is a shoulder I have to examine, look inside with my ultrasound. Always, if you have an injection in the shoulder, the hip, or the knee, make sure your doctor uses an ultrasound to look inside to guide that needle. Otherwise, the studies show that the solution he places in there doesn't even get into the joint at least one-third of the time. So I use the ultrasound for the big joints like that. They're actually teeny joints, but for the big, the joint area to get into it, the needle is very small. And it's almost impossible to do it without an ultrasound. You think you're doing it. The doctor thinks he's doing it, but it's not getting there. Back in the day when we did, quote, blind injections without ultrasounds, um, all of us at national meetings would query, why don't hips heal very well like other parts of the body? And then when I got an ultrasound and started using that, things started healing in the hip. Anyway, we're going to go to Jocelyn, who has neck pain and headaches. Hi, Jocelyn. Dr. Mark Darrow, how are you doing today? Hello. Thank you so much for taking my call, doctor. Well, thank you so much for calling. Yeah, I love, I love my callers. Okay. If you have an answer for my situation, I would really appreciate it. Okay. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> Nita, come on. Sorry. He's funny. It's okay, Jocelyn. You just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jocelyn, what is your question? I know you've got neck Jocelyn, pain and headaches. Jocelyn, What's the question about it? I didn't hear that. Talk a little bit louder. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. My situation is... I've been dealing with this for six years. And How many years is I that? Do you have the radio on in the background? Because I hear echoing, and I can't hear you very okay. well. I turned it off. Okay. It Thank off. you. Okay. You can yell at me. I'm used to it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um, Chris, what is your name, Doctor? Mark. Mark Darrow. Mark. Okay, Mark. Okay. I'm dealing with this for six years. Okay. I have... Um, Back of my head, my headache. It, I would, I never know when it will really start. So, and then neck pain and also pressure building up on my shoulders. And there okay. is a fluid, 
fluid leak, which is driving me crazy for six years, it's in my left ear. And it's filled with the fluid. I've been everywhere. Nobody has a clue what's going on. Okay. So um, I was, I read a lot online. There's a Stanford doctor. He, I got some of his information from him. And okay. he's talking about something, 48-hour flat test. Do you know what that is? I can't understand you. An eight-hour what? 48 hours of flat test. No, I don't know a what that means. A stress test? Is that what you're saying? Flex. flex. No, F-L-A-T. That's what oh, flex. Like. Oh, flex. No, flex. I don't I don't know what that is. That sounds like a chiropractor, um, which is fine. No, 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 um, no. Let me, let me deal know. for a minute, Jocelyn. Let me deal with your head and your, head and your, your, your neck pain. Um, yeah. That's a very common issue. The muscles from the back um, and the neck attach at the bottom of the back of the head, which is called the occiput. And what we do yeah. in a case like yours is we would inject the ligaments on the back of the neck, and then as those muscles come up into the occiput or the back of the head, we would inject that all the way across. And that normally, whatever normally means, often will get rid of the neck pain and the headaches. So I think you'd be a good candidate for platelets or platelets and stem cells if you wanted. I don't know a thing about a fluid leak in your left ear because that's not what I do. I do musculoskeletal orthopedics, you know, with regenerative medicine. So I can't help you on that one, but um, we have very good doctors in our building that I could refer you to that take care of the ears, okay? So thank you very much for your call. We're going to move on. And God bless you. And if you want to get into the office, the number there is 800-300-9300. And thank you so much for calling, Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. I think there's real, real good hope for your neck pain and your headaches to heal. Our number is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. You can call right here in the studio and speak with Dr. Dara right now. And check out the website, www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. Email Dr. Dura off of every page on the site and watch him performing the treatments on videos. And again, the office number, if you just want to call directly to the office, you can call even right now. That's 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. And remember, you want to stay tuned, but you want to call now. Lines are open for you because the time goes quickly. And then at the end, we always end up with extra callers that we don't have time for because the show's They're only an hour long. They're coming in now, Anita. They're coming You're in. bringing them in. Yay. Well, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait let me either. Do a, let me do a quick question first. Okay. Um, are, we, are we ready to call? Yeah. Oh, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. Uh, I'm chomping at the bit. Do I do a question or do I take the caller? I well, will me... count down from 10 to 1 for you, and then we'll have the call. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but I did want to remind people that when they call in today, you get Dr. Darrow's latest book for free. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It's got 264 scientific studies, and the foreword is written by Suzanne Summers. We've all heard of her. And do you want to say a word about any of that? Uh, Well, Suzanne Summers, as we know, is one of the greatest proponents of, um, I don't know what kind of medicine to call it, because people call it alternative, but it's not really alternative. It's the oldest medicine that's been on the planet. And the new uh, high-tech medicine is really alternative. And as far as I'm concerned, we want to stay away from that. Um, let's Let's go to Paul, okay? Paul, this is Dr. Mark Darrow. You have foot, back, and shoulder pain, you poor guy. How long has it been going on? No, for quite a while. Uh, as you have called in before, I'm 97 oh, anyway. Okay. Uh, what I want to know is if I, I get these treatments, if I take it easy and don't do a lot of work, you know, labor, will they last longer? And uh, then I can uh, work on the computer <laughs> and do my work on there. I was going to write a book, How to Live to 100. <laughs> well, you'll probably go longer than 100. I mean, you sound very vital. 
So I wouldn't count your age as meaning anything at all. Um, I do have people come in or 100 who are still doing sports and still driving, and um, you'd never know they're 100. You know, they look more like they're 60 or 70. So don't look at your age. It's not really relevant anymore. Those days are gone. We're in a new era, and uh, it has to do a lot with positive thinking, with staying fit, being healthy, having a good uh, low-carb diet, and doing exercise. That'll keep you going a long, long time. So, uh, yeah, of course, when we do a treatment, we want people to relax the area for a while because the people that go right back to their sports or gardening or whatever activity it is, although the tissue is growing, because regenerative medicine means regenerating the tissue. So we can grow cartilage and tendons and ligaments and all that. We know that. That's been studied. But um, if you're still beating yourself up, of course you're not going to feel as good as quick, and you'll probably need more treatment. So that's a great question, Paul. Um, did Have you been to a doctor about your foot, your back, or your shoulder? Uh, no, I, I don't like uh, organized medicine. <laughs> Okay, I hear you. Yeah, I don't like going to doctors either. I mean, uh, my grandfather was a doctor. There's probably 50 doctors in my family. I've got a giant family. and um, But I don't like going to doctors because, um, you know, they're going to find something. And in medicine, there's a saying, if you look, you find. Meaning, let's say, for instance, you did an MRI of your entire body. You're going to find stuff that's not bothering you. And then you get frightened, and then you chase the rabbit down the hole. And that happened to me. I had a um, a PSA done uh, many months ago, and it came out high. And um, what, what I didn't realize was that the doctor had done the prostate exam and then immediately after did the PSA. The PSA is a marker for prostate cancer if it's high enough, okay? So what happened was I didn't put two and two together, and I saw the high PSA, which is normal, after a prostate exam, okay? Prostatitis, prostate exam, having sex, any of those things can falsely elevate the PSA. So I went down the rabbit hole, and I had all kinds of tests done. I actually had an MRI of my prostate and a bunch of other tests. And then um, one of the doctors who I was seeing, uh, do you have the radio on or something? There's a lot of feedback. No, I got um, somebody in this room that's ne- uh, next okay. to me working with a guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, anyway, have you, got time for one a, of the, have you got time for a joke? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet, Nita. Huh? I'm still finishing up here. So oh. the point is you can get tests, and they're falsely positive, and that's what happened to me. And I spent months of being nervous, thinking I had prostate cancer. The same thing occurs in the musculoskeletal system. So we'll get an MRI when we have pain, and we'll find something that is not the cause of the pain, and we'll get a surgery that never needed to be done, and then the person gets worse afterwards. Listen, Paul, we're going to move on. We have someone else waiting on the phone. God bless you for calling. I appreciate it. And um, please call me up when you hit 100, and we'll go out and have some fun. I'll take you out to dinner. All right. God bless you, Paul. Jasmine, we're back to you. So um, yes, the so question. The stem cell will help my pain, my back of my head and shoulder pain. I think it will, but I can't, I can't promise you anything. People always okay. ask me definitive questions. Will this work? Blah, 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 blah. And I okay. don't know the answer okay. to those also, questions. Also, also, what I'm learning, uh, I'm reading online, and they said if somebody had a whiplash and a back surgery, that will give this headache too. And I had a lower back surgery, and I had a whiplash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. that's right. That can do that. But most of that from a whiplash is from the ligaments being sprained, unless it's a really oh. terrible accident when there's fractures. You can hang with us if you want, Jasmine. We're going to the break, so we're waiting for your calls at 866-870-5752. God bless you all. We'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Anita Valens, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. 
Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. 